In this video clip, we are going to explain to you how repurchase transactions are used to accommodate the liquidity deficit of a bank. Now, if a bank has a liquidity deficit, it can borrow from the Reserve Bank, and the Reserve Bank lends money or cash to the banking system through making use of repurchase transactions. Now, a repurchase transaction will involve two legs. In the first leg of the transaction, the bank or the banks that are experiencing deficits can sell certain securities to the Reserve Bank. And these securities include only this list, only government bonds, treasury bills, Reserve Bank debentures, and land bank bills. Only those four instruments can be used for repurchase transactions for accommodation purposes. What is special about these instruments is that they are all issued by the Reserve Bank or a government institution. So, in essence, the Reserve Bank, together with the government institutions, have control over the amount of these instruments that are available to the banks. Banks also have to hold these instruments as the liquid asset requirements. And therefore, this is another way in which the Reserve Bank has some degree of control over the amount of money that banks can create um, because it will influence the amount of accommodation they can get and it will influence the amount of liquid reserves that are available. So what will happen when the Reserve Bank finance the liquidity deficit of the banks? The banks sell securities, these four securities, to the Reserve Bank. It will mean that money will flow to the banking system and they will receive the market value of these securities. So the securities flow to the Reserve Bank in the first leg and the money flows to the banking system and that means that the money market deficit is now financed because the money flows to the banking system. So the money market deficit or the liquidity deficit of the banks decreases. Then in the second leg of the transaction the banks have to buy back these securities from the Reserve Bank. In other words, money is going to flow to the Reserve Bank and the amount that will flow back to the Reserve Bank is the amount that was paid in the first leg of the transaction plus interest at the repo rate. So this is where the banks now pay interest for the cash that they have borrowed from the Reserve Bank. So the securities flow to the banking system and money flows back to the Reserve Bank. The banks pay back the Reserve Bank for the money that they borrowed from them.